Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is a layout of my own design. It's not for a challenge or a sketch or anything. It's just one that I'm going to create uh, for my own ideas. Um, and it's just one that I really wanted to do. So I couldn't wait to hop on and get this layout done. So it is um, a layout about this lovely creature, Molly the donkey, or as I've um, start, decided she's going to be called, Good golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> and then here's another photo of her. So she's just joined us at the donkey sanctuary. She's a rescue donkey. And yeah, she was here the week before. She was at the sanctuary the week before when I was there. Um, and then this week she was actually, she's been announced, like publicly announced. So I knew she was there last week and um, oh yeah, I couldn't wait to do a layout about her. <laughs> And uh, but I had I just want I had to wait obviously until she was announced officially announced as being arriving at the sanctuary. So yeah, it's Molly the donkey today. Another donkey that I'm introducing you to. So two four by six photos. This pattern paper is um, Echo Park. It's a boy, I think that's called, and um, boy baby bottles. Yeah, and the the other side of the paper is baby bottles and it's it's horrible <laughs> I have to say it's the most boring paper I've ever seen that like, oh my gosh ah well it's not too bad but it is a bit boring right what I've done is I've got this Ellie Studio card here for November I've got these dotty about flare pieces the flare hot pieces an XL piece there and three regular size I've got this puffy sort of banner sticker here that I've no idea what the brand is I'm afraid I've got this uh, donkey stamp that I'm pretty sure I got from Etsy. I'm using archival ink in Acorn and possibly archival ink in Library Green. I've got my little glitter domes here. I've got some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins there, which is Winter Woods. I've got some glitter washi here and my little Studio G stamp set. I've also got my Darling Donkey Stamping Up set stamp set which I'm not sure if I'm going to use yet so what I've done is I've stamped the donkey onto this tracing paper now the donkey stamps this way and I wanted it to be this way because of the way Molly's looking or the way she's standing so I had the idea to stamp it on tracing paper and, and do a mirror image which actually I like the way it's worked out so yeah stamped that onto tracing paper turned it over you get a slightly duller image of course but uh, it's the the way round that I wanted it. If I hadn't come up with that idea, I would have just stamped it the other way and been fine with it. But I just thought to myself, yeah, tracing paper, it's not going to be like the main image or the main part of the layout. It's just a little filled corner there. So I thought, yeah, a little um, dollar image is fine. So, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking of having this photo straight here and then this photo at a slight angle here with the uh, journaling on this Ellie Studio card here. So... That's my thought process at the moment. Then I thought I'd pop this here maybe. And then a bit of embellishing with these uh, lovely flare pieces. So that this one I thought was perfect. <laughs> these Some of these are new, possibly from the new release that's coming out this week. So you may see those. And then this one I thought was highly suitable. And I'm thinking I may pop that here. I haven't thought yet about whether I'm using twine on this layout. At this moment in time, I'm thinking I might not, but that could change, obviously. that Because I do quite mostly use twine on my layouts, around my flare pieces. So yeah, quite a simple layout. Just going to place the, place the photos. I think I'll place this photo first. Just placing the photos where I've put them there. And also, I'm not mounting the photos or anything. I'm just going to... Uh, leave them without any kind of border and I'm going to create a tiny border here with the pattern of the paper I think for that one and I did want this one just slightly at an angle not too much just a little bit still very close to that photo or actually underneath that photo slightly there very slight angle and then I think I'm going to place this piece straight Slightly underlapping the photo, and a little bit of a frame here with the pattern of the paper. 
and we can still see the full November word so that's good pop this piece here although I should probably do that later because um, I've got to do the journaling but I, I'll, I'll lean over it like I normally do <laughs> quite like this uh, pattern here the brown pattern that goes down and across the middle there so I'm going to utilize that as part of my design just place that so it kind of lines up a little bit with the, the pattern of the pattern paper pop this down here see how we want that to go probably sort of a little bit centered I think try and get it a little bit straight across the pattern there I think I might need extra glue on this I seem to remember before that I needed extra glue when I use these, I think that might be right there. It was just in my stash and I picked it up. I thought, yeah, I'll get one piece of that used. Why not? Ideally, I could probably add something in here, like um, uh, sort of uh, paint drops or something. But I'm, I'm not sure about that. I'll, I don't. I could put sequins in if I got tiny ones, but I'm not sure I'm, I can can summon that amount of patience we'll see <laughs> right, I think we'll get this uh, heart flare down the XL one all the hearts these are I'm sure still available other heart shaped flare is available if not there's always kind of a sort of um, common patterns so Hearts, stars, you know, that kind of thing with those shape the uh, icons. It does look a little bit bare without the without the twine, but at the same time I'm quite liking that look. So we'll have to think about that now. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around and I think I'm going to staple Molly Donkey here to the page. And I'm going to hmm, I think I'm gonna have to do it the other way because I need to see how I want the pattern to go. The title's going to go here. Now then, how far do I want her to go over? I think that's probably about right. So I'm going to hold that, if I can, and just get one staple in the top there. And I might... Oh, I did it too high. <laughs> did it too high. Oh, no, I've got to do it again. Um, just like that, I think. So she looks as if she's standing on the lines there. Yeah, that's tricky, isn't it? Hmm. I'm going to do it on this side. This side. Not quite the look I was going for, but uh, it'll be fine. What I might do is actually cut off that top bit of uh, tracing paper there and cut off that. It doesn't have to be straight or anything because I've done it. I've torn the other edges anyway could tear it but I don't want to risk tearing too much off so mm. yeah I'm not too happy with that I didn't really yeah I like that too much but I think I'm just going to stick with it now the title I don't think I've shown you what I'm using for the title is American Crafts Tinsel Town thicker so it's the Christmas collection from last year I think and um, I'm going to try and do it all in green may not all be this, the same shade of green though so I am actually going to call it Good Golly Miss Molly because that is her name now um, as far as I am concerned. <laughs> She's always going to be known as Good Golly Miss Molly. So I need to think about how um, I'm not going to do it that way but I'm trying to space it this space it vertically just to make sure it's all going to fit. And because the actual backing has not come off of these yet, I can do that. And now then, do we want a D? Yeah, they, they do fit quite well, don't they? So if we do one there, one there, not quite, I don't think. We might have to do it a little bit higher. Like that. That could go there, that could go there. Hmm. Not sure now. I had thought about doing a tag, using a large tag here, like this tag here that I've got this template. I had thought about using a tag like that and putting the title onto it. 
I would cover this up though unless I use tracing paper again. Uh, M's quite a long wide letter isn't it? Mm, not too wide. Or I could just draw that on. Mm. I could put those a bit lower. Very slightly lower which might look better. I'll just pause it. Okay so slight change of plan. <laughs> Um, I move this photo down and this one um, I pull this up and stick we stick that and this I'm going to pull up I didn't pull up the photos well actually I was filming I shouldn't pull this one either but I'm going to it's going to look a little bit uh, bent but I think once I re-stick it and everything it'll be okay just want you to be able to see, I just want to be able to see that November word so yeah, thought this layout was going to be quick and easy and straightforward, but I had another idea, didn't I? I'm thinking, put this one back here like I did before, lined up, sort of lined up to the pattern paper a little bit. I'll stick that down properly later. And actually, there was a gap there here. There was a gap here between the photos and that puffy. And, um, yeah, I think it probably looks a little bit better now without... Uh, that gap so what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to draw around the stencil rather than um, use paper and cover the pattern of this paper with either plain or different patterns I'm going to have a go at that now do it let me see if I can do it with you let me get a pen uh, black pen here Oh gosh, now I don't know whether to do it or not. Yeah, well, I'm just going to go for it. Gently. Haven't stuck the stencil down or anything. Not Well, it's sort of a stencil, it's more of a template. I'm hoping I like this when I've done it now because otherwise I'm going to have to do it again and cover it all, aren't I? Turn the paper the other way, put the photos there. I mean, turn the paper that way and cover that bit with and do it the opposite. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. Turn the paper that way and have this bit covered by the photos, but I'd have to start everything again, wouldn't I? Right. Okay, I think I do like that now I've done it. Sometimes these ideas just come when you're. Um, you know, actually creating the layout. Now then, this is a zero that I've taken from the numbers on the uh, actual page and, and it doesn't have that little bit of detail on the, the sides. I don't want, so I think I am going to use that, uh, the numbers if, uh, not use the numbers if I can help it. Right, let's see if we can find. Golly, I just need one more. I need two more, don't I? Yeah, although for Nate, Molly's name, it might not matter too much. Oh, no. I'm hoping I've got enough. Um, I could probably do this in order dark, if I've got the L's in dark. Don't know if they come in dark or not. Yep, they do. One. That one's dark. Of course, I need two more of those, and I'm not sure I've thought that through. Uh, I thought I've got enough actually. Yeah, I might not have. Well, that could be a problem. Good golly. I might have to do Molly in a different colour altogether because I don't think I've got two L's left. I've got one L on here. And not a. Oh, yeah, I haven't got one there. So I might have to, I'm possibly going to have to add different colour here. Hmm, didn't want to do that, but I think I'm going to have to. Now then, let's decide how we're going to do the miss. Got an M there. M. Yeah. Got I in the light colour. Got two S's, got one here. Yeah, I've got two S's in the light colour. I would have done everything in the same colour, but I just know that I haven't got the supplies for that, the actual alphas for that, so I'm going to uh, just do what I can. Now then, 
Molly, how do we do Molly? Do we do it in this beigey colour here? Or do we go for it and do it in the red? Even though it's a completely different colour to anything else on the page. Don't really want to do that. Um, hmm. Sure, I haven't actually got the L. Yeah, I've got the L in red, and that's all. I think I can only do it in red. Could, or have I got that lighter colour in the L? That this beigey colour, no, I haven't. So I think I'm gonna have to see what that looks like in red. Uh, and just accept it because, yeah, I don't really want to <laughs> start all over again with a new alpha. It's had already come up with the idea, so I think we're going to have to uh, yeah, go with the red. I hope it doesn't look too, you know, as though it wasn't meant to be. I'm going to squeeze in the name Molly's name into that uh, tag there at the bottom. I'll scooch it over a little bit there, okay. And I think that's okay because there's a little bit of an orangey sort of red colour in this uh, fur here so it kind of does pull into that there. What I'll do is I'll get the title down properly and then decide what else I'm going to do and I'll be back with you. Okay so I've popped the title down and I'm actually really pleased with that now and I actually do actually really like that colour. The fact that we've emphasised Molly's name and also it does fit in with this fur here so yeah that was, is it serendipity? <laughs> I don't know but anyway it wasn't. It wasn't what I planned, but I'm really pleased with how it looks. And actually, I'm not sure if I might need to move Molly's name down slightly there. And then I did think possibly using a twine colour to match the sort of orangey red coral, orange red coral, whatever the colour is. It's sort of a coral colour. Might just move that down a little bit. I think I like that better. Yeah, there. And then I need to put something here, like a heart. I think Molly deserves a heart here. And it will probably be, oh, I have got that one that I've cut out before that, oh, yeah, that looks absolutely perfect, doesn't it? I could put that on top of a wood piece, but, um, yeah, pick that up now. It's just one that I've cut, punched out before for a previous layout, not used and popped back in my heart box. Um, and it really is like a perfect match. <laughs> I could put it on top of there, but I don't want to cover that. And oh, it does look nice there, doesn't it? But I think I want the uh, wood piece. Yeah, that is such a shame because that colour is amazing. But I must try and remember that when I use the alphabet set again. So I'm really pleased that I managed to get a, a title out of that alphabet set because, it, like I said, I didn't want to go back and start again with a different alpha set. And I really wanted to use this one because this is kind of a bit Western style. Um, and I was thinking of, you know, good God, I miss Molly and the rock and roll and everything. A little bit western so uh, yeah I'm pleased with that I really like that I didn't frame this paper because I really liked the paper wanted the paper to stand out um, I'm thinking that would have been nice with the framed with the, this this color here but I'm not going to do that I think I'm just going to leave it as it is I, I stapled two extra staples here to just make that look better yeah I could redo it but I think I'm going to leave it because I think I'm okay with it. I, I do quite like the metal anyway. Um, I might. What I'll do is probably add a little bit more metal just for emphasis here. And then perhaps here. And then it looks as though it was deliberate. Even though it wasn't. Right. I think I'm happy with this layout. And I'm going to have to decide about twine. Okay, so I had a look through my, twi uh, my thread. And I came across this here. From a cross stitch that I've done, it's just left over and I didn't have much of it, so I thought I'll see if I can make it stretch because it was a nice colour. I couldn't find like a um, colour to match the uh, coral here, so I'm going to try and make this stretch for what I need it for. <laughs> to be careful about how I twine it so it can be seen. None of it goes underneath, that's what I mean. Make the most of what I've got there. Could have kept looking. Um, for you know and, and more but uh, I thought I'll just use what I found if I find something that works I tend to go with it 
and I figured if I hadn't got enough for all four flare I have got I could use I picked up this piece here which is like a brown shade so I could use that and this was there was a little bit came away from the thread so not quite as uh, many strands in it I might have to use that for the bottom flare the one at the bottom right there but yeah I did decide that I would want to add some thread to my page. I think this piece is quite a delicate thread actually. There's a possibility I could find more if I had a look through but uh, it came, like I say, it came from a, an actual cross stitch. It's what was left over. Let's try and thread that one round again so we don't lose any. Underneath the flare. Well, as long as I can see some of it, it's fine. Making a little bit of a mess here. I think that's okay. I think you can see, and I'm going to have a go with this, what's left here down at the bottom. I think I'm going to have to have a little clean up afterwards as well because I'm getting it all over the actual flare pieces. Uh, I think I probably need a finer glue bottle as well for this kind of thing. I'm getting quite a lot of glue coming out big splodges of glue coming out this is finer but it's a longer piece so it goes a bit further and obviously once it's gone around a few times you, you don't notice that it's a finer thread I don't think it could look as I've just sort of twisted it underneath made a sort of a thread base for my uh, flare underneath the flare right uh, I think that's yeah I think that's going to be okay. Oops, sorry if I nudged that there. It's not quite showing like I'd like it to, but that's better. I think that'll be okay. Um, clear up the glue that's I've got everywhere. I think that is going to be okay. I've stuck a little bit of glue underneath this to make it stay in place. They're all in place, the title's in place, I'm going to do the journaling here. Now then I have to decide whether to um, use this glitter washi. I could use it to here maybe. Just a little bit there. Just in one place, it's like a, just a holding place for the journaling card. And I've got my uh, really bright green glitter danes here. And I've got three and three. I just haven't got enough to do three sets of three. And I haven't got any more of this colour. So uh, there's a possibility I could extend this little cluster here. Just do it at the bottom here. I like the way that's sitting. Maybe raise that one a little bit higher. That's okay. I might, might be okay. Um, I'm not sure though. I don't know if that adds anything to the layer. I have torn the paper a little bit though. So if I don't tear this pattern paper here, I might be able to pull it up. It's only the white that I've torn so far. Sorry about that, I don't think I like the look of that. No, I don't think I like the look of that. Slight tear there. Um, now I'm wondering about whether I need a few sequins or not. I could put a couple here and just one or two here maybe, cover that uh, little tear there. Big, big white, big light coloured one there. Maybe a, just a couple of the green down here. Just to extend that little cluster a little bit. And then perhaps add one here and the big white one as well. I think that's what I'll probably do. Then I talk, talked about putting some of those in there, didn't I? But I don't know how much to do that. Right, I think that is what I'm going to do, what I've, what I've placed down there now. Get a slightly different shade here, I think. There, like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just stick those down. Okay, so I just added the glue to those and popped those sequins down. I didn't do that live because um, my glue is quite, yeah, it's quite gloopy. But I'm, I'm pleased with that because I've covered that little tear there and also 
I prefer this to the bright green um, glitter domes. I am thinking about whether I need something here, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to add anything there. But what I will do is put the date on here. So um, although Molly came to the sanctuary the week before, she was actually announced on the 1st. So I'm going to put the 1st on there. I took this photo the week before and this photo on the 1st. Um, she was already on the island. She was she came to us from the from a local area. And her friend, her donkey companion had passed away and she wasn't doing well without him. So, um, yeah, the owners wanted her to come and have companionship. So um, that's why she's at the sanctuary. She needed a, she needed some friends, which is quite often the case with donkeys. When they lose a companion, they don't do well and um, they do need to be with other donkeys. So, yeah, she's uh, she's doing really well and uh, I'm excited for her to be at the sanctuary. Now, Jen uh, no splattering, I don't think. Um, don't think I want to add anything here. Thinking about it, but I think I'm thinking about as a few sequins maybe. But I think I'm just going to leave it as it is, plain. So yeah, all finished. No challenge or anything. Like I say, just my own design and um, Echo Park pattern paper with a few sort of alphas, puffies, flare pieces, a wood piece, a little bit of stamping. And uh, yeah, that's finished. So once again, uh, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I'll just...